Orton's Miraculous Mechanisms is about an ordinary boy who finds that his family is not as ordinary as he thought they were. And he follows a series of clues to discover his great uncle's lost magician's workshop. And when I was writing the book, I was never quite sure what was going to be happening on the next page. And I hope the reader will follow the story as much as I did, solving each puzzle as it goes along, finding the next one in a slightly chaotic way that Stuart did. He doesn't do it like a detective, he does it like a small boy. And what he discovers is extraordinary and magical. Stuart's my main character and my favourite character, but I also think readers might enjoy his father, who is a crossword compiler and who never uses a single syllable word when a multi-syllable medieval synonym will do. And Stuart's father, for instance, doesn't say, what are you going to do this morning? He says, what are your plans for the matutinal hours? Which means, in fact, the hours before lunchtime. I had to do a lot of looking up in dictionaries for it. I enjoyed writing Stuart and I think he's easy to relate to. He's an ordinary boy in an ordinary town having an extraordinary adventure. And it's his determination that sees it through. Not any particular special qualities, but because he, he never stops trying. While I relate to Stuart because of the circumstance that I moved to a small town at the same time as he did, uh, the character that I perhaps most resembled was his next door neighbour, April Kingley, who is a, uh, works very hard at school, who knows the answers to everything, who is irredeemably bossy. That, that was me, I'm afraid. Horton's Miraculous Mechanisms is the sort of book that I loved reading as a child. It's exciting, it's got magic and puzzles, it's funny, it's got annoying children, infuriating adults and a hero who triumphs.